Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So I'm just on my way home from like a workshop slash seminar. Um, it was on like calculations and stuff to do with infrared spectroscopy as well as ramen. I've just been to collect a parcel as well. See you when I get back inside because the weather is awful and I don't want to get my phone too wet. <laughs> Right, so I just thought I'd show you a couple bits of blogger mail. I did show this the other day, however, I completely forgot to tell you guys my discount code. So this is a brand called Unique London. They sent me this like gorgeous blossom phone case. It's so sturdy and it's just really pretty and minimalistic. I absolutely adore it. Yeah, this is from Unique London and if you use the code Scarlet Slippers blog, you can get 10% off any of their phone cases. I literally had a few questions on Instagram DM like, oh, have you got a discount code for this? Say, so, yeah, I do. If you do want to go grab one of their phone cases, they're absolutely stunning. I've just picked up this parcel, which is from Femme Lux, who I've worked with before. Um, I'm really excited to have a look at the clothing in here. So I'm going to pop you on the side in a second to show you that. But I also got... So I've just received a lovely package from falseeyelashes.co.uk um, and they've sent me this lovely little message saying hope you like the lashes, can't wait to hear what I think. Um, they've got a 10% off code which is LASH10 if anyone wants to go grab some new eyelashes but they've sent me these three pairs from a brand called Land of Lashes. They have all different brands on their website which is amazing. They've sent me over there Revlon, oh I didn't even know Revlon had a, like a lash glue but they've sent me Revlon's lash glue and then I've got, and I've got these three lashes which they're all foaming by the way obviously um, I wouldn't get mink lashes this is the Aurora set um, this is the Allure set Allure? 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 and then this is the Icon set so I absolutely love these these are all my sort of vibe that I go for a, a f like this one I'd probably wear in the day because they're a little bit more um, fluttery and then these are a bit more dramatic so I'd wear them like on a night out or whatever but yeah thank you very much to defaultseyelashes.co.uk for sending me those and um, now I'm just going to open this parcel wow everything that Femlux have sent me is super affordable like um, these are all gifted by the way like I they've sent them for me to like talk about them or review them or um, whatever I want to do with them so um, they sent all these products and all of them are like under 20 pounds, well actually under 15 pounds so very affordable so first off we have probably end up showing these in a haul at some point because you can't really tell what they look like but honestly this I feel like is going to be my new favourite dress yeah, I literally, I remember now I picked it out because I absolutely love that whole square neckline I think it's really flattering like across the chest very excited to wear this on a night out and it's also got that sort of like ruching um, I just think it's like sexy it makes me feel um, really confident and stuff so I'm very excited to try that out and I think that was literally um, $14.99 I have a white lace bodysuit which I've wanted to try for ages I'm not going to get that out just yet um, I'm sure I'll show you all these when I'll try them on in the try on haul then I've got a big um, oversized like like a camel colour it, it doesn't look camel under the light here but in real life it's like very camel coloured and then I've got like a cream jumper which is going to be perfect for the winter season so yeah, I'm going to try all these on in a haul. I'll probably wear one of these now, actually, because I'm not really sure what to wear to London. But, yeah, I'm a bit stressed because within the next hour, I need to be completely packed and out of the house. Yay. <laughs> Right, I'm just mid makeup, but I've popped on that camel jumper um, that I just got from Femme Lux. And how lovely is this? It looks amazing with the um, leopard belt and the blue jeans. I love it. I've popped on some necklaces as well. I've got my um, H&M necklaces. This is like a double layered one. I've also got my Daniel Wellington watch because I thought it would tie in nicely. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to wear this to London because it's quite like a chilled, cosy outfit-ish. Like these jeans I find quite cosy despite them being jeans. Um, yeah, sorry about the weird appearance. I literally just done my foundation. <laughs> Um, but my the ASOS parcel for my boyfriend's just come which I'm buzzing about because I ordered it um, at the end of last week and I was like oh my god I don't know if it would be a bit tight and it literally said today that it would be um, coming between 10 and 2 and obviously I have to leave at 12 for the train so I was like please come early and it's just come so I'm going to get that wrapped up in a second I just need to finish my makeup and sort everything out <sighs> stress <laughs> just about to wrap up Aiden's presents you can't really see what they are so oh yeah you can actually a little bit more there I've bought him like a really lovely North Face cream fleece it's like one of those half zips he really likes them at the minute so I got him one of those and I got him a car I think it's Carhartt yeah um a Carhartt grey um 
a, like a plain grey like sweatshirt and then I got him another cap it's sort of like this charcoal grey colour I thought it would look really lovely on him and I don't think he's got another one this colour so yeah that's why I got him for his B day I'm now at King's Cross, I'm just off to find Aiden. I am desperate for a wee, so I'm gonna find the toilets first, but um, yeah, I'm really excited because Aiden said that he's got a surprise planned for tonight, so that's exciting, but I'm nervous. Right, so I've decided not to bring my camera out, so my phone quality is a little bit shitty because I've taken my new little white bag out and it just didn't, it can't really fit a lot in and I don't want to be like carrying a lot of things around, so. Yeah, sorry for the bit shitty quality, but I'm obviously now in London. Um, Aiden surprised me with uh, a ticket to tickets to the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, and it's actually it's like a it's a play, but it's like really high tech. Like the whole stage is amazing. Like I've seen it before, but I was doing it for either A level or GCSE drama, and it was just it was just not gr it was. It was great, but I was having to take notes and like analyze it rather than actually just fully enjoying it um, and doing it for pleasure. So I'm very excited to actually sit and just watch it. And I know Aiden's gonna love it as well. It's so sick, I'd highly recommend. I think, I don't really wanna to talk too much about it, but it's basically, I think this it sets the scene and the, there's like a dog that's been killed. Yeah, an autist, there's an autistic boy and you like follow his story, like in the way he thinks, he's like in, so intelligent and i don't know it's just so sick like the way everything's done and uh, obviously it'll be all different from company to company but i'm just i'm just so excited because it's so so different to a musical and it's still like amazing so yeah where are we seeing it piccadilly piccadilly theater um but yeah so that's where we're we're off to weatherspoons now for to get some food but um then we'll be heading to the theater okay. finished watching Curious Incident I'll talk to you a little bit about it when we get back but um we're off to donut time it usually always ends like this we end up going to get some donuts from here really expensive but they taste so good so which way are we going okay okay I'll probably have a look and then still get the Lotus we have Biscoff one that's my favorite right no is it Houston we have Biscoff not Lotus Hey everyone, so it's the following morning. I um, didn't chat to you last night because one, so tired and just spending time with my boyfriend. Like I said, this is vlog gonna go over the next like couple of days whilst I'm in London because it, it might end up being like really long, but I just obviously wanna spend quality time with my boyfriend because I don't see him that often, like see him probably like once a month. Yeah, we just honestly, that the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime is just sensational. Like the guy who plays Christopher, the main character, he honestly, I honestly his lines like he has to learn so many lines and he has to literally change his whole personality because the um, main guy's autistic it must have taken him so long to like get into his role and like prepare for it honestly it's sensational and, like the whole stage is like lights so all of the walls floors and like ceiling are all like lights there's lots of physical theater it's just 
executed so well like I can't even explain so I'd highly recommend if you're looking for a play if you're not a musical person and you're looking for a play that is like quite funny and just visually really pleasing then I definitely recommend it and it's I think it's honestly my favorite play that I've gone to see um obviously not a musical but it's my favorite play I just really enjoy the storyline apparently there's lots of controversy about the book um Hattie told me that she really hated the book I've seen so many, much shit online saying the book's awful but everyone really enjoys the play and um I can see why it would be a shit book to be honest because you don't really get that sort of I don't know I think one of the main things about the whole thing is that the main, main guy's autistic and I feel like it's really hard to see that through like words it's like like written words rather than it actually being acted out so maybe that's like the main factor as to why the book's not as good but I haven't read it so I can't really say much but the play is just insane so highly recommend um and then we went to donut time I got my classic um Houston we have Biscoff which is the Lotus Biscoff donut and Aiden got basically Robert De Niro but with Oreo instead so I'll show you those when we eat them we're having them for breakfast because it's Aiden's birthday and you can do what you want on your birthday Aiden's just gone in the shower his friends came in last night they were really lovely they um when we got back from the play um his mates were out and they'd like decorated his room with all of these balloons like they're all they were all flashing that there's like some everywhere um I thought that was so sick um and so cute and yeah Aiden's literally just opened his presents before he's got in the shower before me and he really loves them so I'm very happy because I was a little bit nervous because he's always a bit like mm, don't buy me clothes like unless he's asked like unless he's like given me some sort of like guidance he doesn't really like me buying the clothes <laughs> yeah because he's very like fussy but he actually really loved what I bought him so yay success today I actually have an appointment as a hairdressers in Shoreditch it just won like an award for something um which is amazing and I'm actually going there for a like gifted hair treatment I think I'm getting a wash treatment and blow dry it might just literally be a wash and blow dry I'm not sure but I'm really excited because my hair's looking a bit scruffy this morning um and I'm looking forward to the little massage that they do when they wash your hair that's like my favorite part about it so yeah I'll be really nice and I'll obviously review that as as and when um on my blog and i'll probably be putting on my snapchat so you might have seen that if you follow me over there and then we're meeting up with aiden's mum and brother a little bit later on so that should be really fun can't wait i literally love when we're all together it's so fun um so yeah i might they, today might be very montagey because obviously like i'm with aiden's family and i don't want to just be like getting the camera it's aiden's birthday and he's not a massive fan of being on camera so i just don't want to shove it down everyone's throat you know <laughs> right we're all ready to go we're gonna head to Shoreditch and I'm gonna go get a wash and blow dry I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film in there but I'll obviously show you what it looks like after but right now my hair is a very greasy and it looks a bit shit out of do you reckon it's Figaro rather than Figaro 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 okay yeah they were all Italian yeah yeah so I've just been to Figaro I think I pronounced it wrong earlier um and they've literally given me the most amazing like wash and blow dry she the massaging was just incredible and um oh yeah she, she massaged my hair like washed it all like oh just made it all really like lovely and soft and then she blow dried it and styled it as well but you can't really see very well because it is a little bit windy so it might fall out quite quickly but that's obviously not her fault um yeah so it's like all curled and stuff on the screen so you can see like what it looks like it's just been lovely and taken some photos for me and now we're off to um a museum am i right yeah. we're gonna go have a look at a like london museum that's free what is it called british Oh, just Museum of London. It's like in Shoreditch. Okay, where that is. Um, we're just going to have a look there and then we're going to be meeting Aidan's mum in like a couple of hours, hopefully, and probably go to The Alchemist, which is one of my favourite places. Yeah, do it. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, bro. No, don't. No, no, no. Put it on your knee. I used to do it. I don't want to do that. Can I do it? Why are you scared of it? I'm really nervous, but. I'm going to try and feed the Look squirrel or something. We used to do it on our knees and like they used to run up. Look. Food. Oh, he doesn't want it. And I said he loves you. Here you go. <laughs> I hate you. 
Um, we were literally in the um, London, what is it, Museum of London, and it is probably the worst place I've ever been. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, it's just not very interesting at all, like, personally. Like, it was, it's, like, hyped up on things. Like, I've seen it before. Like, what did you see it say? It was, like, the third thing on what? Yeah, best three things to do in three. three things to do in London. I mean, if you're into like really into history, then maybe. But I much prefer. No, I'm a, I'm a history. Yeah, I'm I know. Like yeah, there's just a lot of like, there's just a lot of pots really. <laughs> there's a lot of pottery. Um, pottery. and it's just pottery. 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 And I'd highly recommend going to see the Natural History Museum and the Science Museum because they're also free and way better. <laughs> and the British Museum, that's really good too. And they're all free and so much better. Going into a different section now, maybe it's a bit better, like all the modern day stuff, so. Well, I told you there was more pottery. Oh my God, no, we can't. I'm sorry, I wasn't being a bitch in the last one. I just really am not into this sort of thing. We're just on the way to meet Aidan's mum at the tube station and then we're gonna go to the Alchemist. Um, we just sort of walked around by St Paul's um, and that's about it. How are you birthday? Happy birthday, Fabio. <laughs> we always do that. everyone so it's Sunday now um I didn't really vlog like I only did like little montage clips for the Saturday section of the vlog because we were all spending time for Aiden's birthday we went out for food with his mum and brother and we also went to the alchemist for a while so you'll have seen all the footage from that it was really fun um but we ended up waiting for food for literally hours um, because it was just really super busy in Leicester Square and we kind of expected it because it was a Saturday but we were waiting around for like two hours before we even got seated so, so that pretty much took up most of like the evening to be honest waiting for food and um, but oh my god the Maltese cheesecake I had last night was insane like absolutely loved it yeah, and then we came home what did we do when we got back I actually can't remember what we did when we got back but this morning we've just been chilling um Aiden's been ringing my family and stuff saying thank you for his bits and bobs that he got yesterday and we've just been watching you because Aiden hasn't seen it yet so I'm re-watching it with him because there's only 10 episodes and like we'll probably watch it over the course of whenever we see each other it's nice to just like have a series that we watch together so I've been watching you and we've just been getting ready because we're going to head to Notchua Rose which is in um which is in South Kensington so it's not very far from where Aiden is we're gonna go head there and get some dessert because it literally looks delicious i saw it dessert some yeah so we're gonna go get some churros they do like incredible it literally looks stunning in there i saw it on instagram like a few weeks ago and i was just like oh my god that looks delicious and we both love churros so we're gonna head there soon um but yeah that's about it we had a really nice time yesterday and i think Aiden enjoyed his birthday but i'm not gonna speak on his behalf because i'm not him <laughs> Me and Aiden have just been to the Knox Churros. It's um, based in South Kensington, um, but it was like super busy inside and it's actually much smaller than like photos make it out to be. We did manage to get a seat inside, but we managed to sit on the little pink table outside. Aiden took a, cute, a few cute little pics, but um, we got the Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which was like white, was it white chocolate? 
white chocolate and um, hundreds and thousands. Aiden got the Little Mermaid one, which was like strawberry chocolate and um, hundreds and thousands, but we like both shared them. It was lovely. Thank you all so much for watching the London vlog. I'm just about to head to King's Cross with Aiden and head back to Lincoln. So I will see you tomorrow for a uni vlog. Um, make sure to hit thumbs up if you've enjoyed this as it's a little bit different to my uni content. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new and I will see you tomorrow for another uni vlog. Bye.